Alright, where am I? My story began in February of 2000. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. I'm I guessing I'm in before I was even what well, my power so senses number overture. But he was dead. It's been a Rising while be since road, I've been be in Penumbra. Actually, this letter contained a key, instructions, please for forgiveness. I figured the dead Yeah, quite a lot. So I turned to remember correctly. Which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations. My father preferred to leave directions. Then I guess directions uh, well, I mean you'll be joining me this time. Him yeah. Him a safety deposit box in his because name. I don't think I was there when ever you dealt with number the first time. As yeah. As because it was like. A I year ago or something. He'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago. Weird how book, things can notes I found had in the change so fast over the course of a year. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world renowned for two things physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Okay, so secrets of something more I'm As guessing. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright. Uh, I got some. Uh... Jack Daniels or <laughs> Jake Daniels. <laughs> Lo love how things uh, <laughs> sometimes get slightly contorted through the multiverse. <laughs> Have you heard of <laughs> Pepsi? <laughs> I mean, Pepsi. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, one of my personal uh, uh, favorites. Uh, <laughs> like for a change of name, I can throw. Should I open up things? Okay, got glow stick. Alright, so got <laughs> flashlight and glow stick. Usually, uh, 
don't get both, but I guess having two options is probably better. Right. Into the freezing cold. Somehow. Wait, did I see? Uh, maybe. Yeah, these rocks should be uh, good enough to hopefully break it. Come on, there we are. Come on, turn and open. Oh, got there. Open. It's like <laughs> if I were to actually uh, lift it. I guess another object that I can use to produce light. Oh, that door is pretty stiff. Alright. Hammer. Ammunition. Oh, there's a passageway here, and that's locked. So, it's uh, through the passageway. At least I have a sort of weapon so I can, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pull away the hammer for now. Can I holster it somehow? Probably need a, just, no. Open up the door, just in case a quick exit is needed. Let's see here. Hmm. I need to get this open somehow. Oh, I guess I need to crank it somehow. Do I have something that could act as a crank? Or oh. probably this. Okay, so it was more of a turn wheel sort of thing, but yeah. 
It's very dark. Good thing I have a light. Okay, okay, I need to stay. Okay. Oh. Ah, I guess the blur so weird kind of our energy that's emanating like almost around my vision is like an indication of me being hidden what happens if I okay as long as I have a flashlight on I'm less hidden well I guess that's always but it's weird that like the living blue energy is within the sky and a typewriter. Something makes me suspect there's more to the sky than meets the eye. But then again, I think I was technically the sky once, probably. As I have been in Penumbra, that's why I was someone else, but. Yeah. It does seem. Uh, Like, there's more to him than I initially thought. Wish I made these observations the uh, first time around. But it's a good thing that uh, I'm back here to learn. There's a uh, new thing. Oh, and one of these things, I remember these things. Okay. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, you had the curiosity to look at the notes from your father that you were supposed to burn, so I'm... <laughs> You know, gonna do that. <laughs> Still might must stay low, given how things are. How many berries do I have? Hopefully I'll have enough. And is there any actual danger around? Because I heard something. But I haven't seen something. Let's see if this small key can... Hmm, not quite right, but I haven't seen any danger. Is there actually a danger roaming around, or am I just being uh, paranoid? I don't think there's actually a danger. And if I do see a danger, well then I'll run. And hide and stop because I don't think I can exactly fight. How many light sources am I going to get? A lighter? <laughs> Sleds? Glow stick? What's next? Like. Uh, 
I have every sort of thing for for uh, things. There's rocks in there. That's a bit odd. Uh, locked. Also locked. Both are locked. This seems peculiar. Okay, that definitely seems peculiar. Just to have box here in this room where it's nothing else and you know I guess moving along I don't think I'm gonna find anything else in that room currently Oh, something is here. What is it? Is there a wolf? I hear something. See anything? What can I open this? Is this locked? Yeah, it looks locked. I wonder if my he can work on that. Oh, yes. Alright. Oh, okay. It's giving me materials for different explosives. I guess explosives might be needed. So I'm either going to need string, black gunpowder, backstrin for that, either uh, di mercurius uh, god. <laughs> That's a word I always <laughs> love scientific words. Uh, nitroglycerin. At least that one's easy. Well, mainly because I've seen it before. And sodium carbonate. Well, I'll need a red phosphorus and a Bavarian. Oh, 
uh, gravity and how it's uh, okay. So the key is giving me a list of things. Have I got any of that? Oh, I do have uh, that. So I guess uh, then uh, uh, The one I'll be going for is I need black gunpowder and string. That's probably the one I'm gonna find. So, yeah. Okay, padlock. I guess I can lock doors if need be. So yeah. Alright, so then. Here, something. But I haven't seen something. It's still locked. To be on it, so I should have seen it. Starting to wonder if something's actually here or not. Or if the current person I'm in control of is this. Potentially mad. Let's see if I can. Uh, can't bust through these doors. Uh. Let's come on. That's not going to work. Can't bust through these damn doors. Damn. Alright. What do I do then? Maybe I can bust through that other door. Guess I haven't uh, tried that yet. That's definitely gonna attract the attention of whatever it is that's lurking around. But then again, I'm doubtful if it's even real at this point.
Like, I am doubtful that it exists. Like, I'm making all this noise, and I don't even see it. I'm starting to suspect that there's nothing. I'm really starting to suspect that there is literally nothing to be hiding from. I definitely need other things, but there's no other rooms and I can't exactly get through the area I currently want to get through. Don't even think I can squeeze through the gap. But is there really a Thing down here. Let's sit back. Oh. Well, that's uh, a uh, realization to have a little bit late. Being trapped. Only two doors I can access. I've gone basically everything I've. Like, I'm not certain if there's any more in so. I think I collected all our irons in the local area. So I think it's just a matter of getting these damn doors open. I have one thing of explosive. Can I use a shoelace or something as string? <laughs> But that still won't factor in the last part of it, which let me check the notes again. Is gunpowder. I need to get these damn doors open somehow. Looks like there's a gap above, but. Sense. Lighter plus fuel equals fire. Wait, I have a lighter. Up. 
And would this be the fuel? With the fuel I can get fire, yeah, so I just need to find the fuel and so I'm not here though, and I guess the uh, but I guess I can burn down the door, potentially. <laughs> so I'm gonna go find fuel. I still don't think there's actually anything here. Yeah, I'm starting to agree with you, Michael. It seems to serve. Yeah. Like there's noises of a animal, like a wolf or something. But no such actual animal so far. Like a fake out before you actually see the real thing. Now any fuel in here? I really need some fuel or something. I don't think these barrels really have anything. I need fuel. I'll sleep out. What can I actually see behind? That crap. Hmm. There's definitely stuff back there. Just this thing won't budge a bit, and the hammer didn't get through either. Like this hammer is pretty damn useless, honestly. I even break down the simple door. Has the growling gone? Yeah, I'm really suspecting there isn't a creature at all. Crawling is slow, I'm gonna start walking. I'm not going to start running yet, but... Definitely a little bit of impatience. Come on. Come on. Sounds like there's something. Yeah, I can't bust down these damn 
doors were damn anything. Oh, I'm cool, I can... Ah, that's how I would access it. Cool. That makes things a little easier. I'm really getting nowhere. Growling was totally fake. I definitely need that for explosives, but I'm missing the other parts. I can't bust through that. There must be something I've missed. to that let me out Supposedly something or not. Honestly, if there is something, it'd probably be better attract its attention. Maybe then it break through the damn door. Maybe being quiet screw me over. Oh, there's other Three dots. I don't know what to make of that. Clouds equal dead? to make all these markings. Wait, it's going to be moved. Oh my god. No wonder I felt like this was, oh my god, oddly placed. There's a dawn secret passageway. The 
There's always a reason for things to be oddly placed. Oh my god. Definitely hurts. I can't be joking. But there must be a reason for going down here. I can't break the lock unless I, let's see, there we are, at least one thing I can break. Yes, there we are. Now I can burn stuff. Okay, now there's definitely a monster about before it was fake or just the echoes of it through the halls. Now there's actually something. And you gotta be joking me, this can't be another. Okay. Cool. The heck? That's fire. 
you. So you're gonna have to be uh, quiet now. So I'm ready to burn. Can I combine them with that? No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, and uh, this must be the key for... Uh, the door. Now it's actually going to be... Roaming around, ain't it? So now things won't be so simple. Oh, I have a Block it in a different way. Come on. Move the thing. Well, uh, that's not good. And it is a wolf. A demon wolf at that. Did I really lose it? It takes such a long time to move objects. Now it could be anywhere in there. I fail my one chance to give me some sense of uh, safety. God damn it. TNT. Now there's some explosives. Hello, doggy boy. Honestly, oh, you're gonna be a pain. I wonder if I can. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Run away. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. 
Oh, I am failing fighting this damn thing. Yeah, try and get me up here, huh? Try and get me up here, huh? Little punk. That's right. Demon damn dog. I am failing that. Uh, Hit it though. Okay. That wasn't so hard. Talk about a demon dog, it's not that hard to kill. I don't know why I was concerned in the first place and I can just fight it off. Oh, does it come back to life? That might be a bit of a problem. But for the moment I've bought myself some time. I don't know what the code would be. Let's have a look at my notes. If I have found anything of a code. 4,000 miles doesn't seem like a card. Seven. One, one, seven could be potentially a card. Let's just try it. Yeah, I need a fine code. But where could be said code? And the dog hasn't gone back up. That's a good sign. Gives me time to search this area without much problem. Oh, can I get this crate open? No. There must be a code somewhere around here, given the fact that I already had access to the other areas and yeah, there must be something. What's this? Toolbox? I think so. Even oh oh two one four eight notice the cave in but didn't notice the note there.
want I put that in correctly? Two, one, four, eight. Yeah, two. What? That has to be it. Two, one, four, eight. Oh, backwards. Ah, oh, that. God damn it. That's the be tricky. So it's eight, four, one, two. God damn it. Really has to be annoying. Something under it. Alright. It's in here now. Oh, don't want to touch that. Can I use the pickaxe as well? Ah, so this is kind of stronger. And then, uh, the R thing, but still, I don't think. I'm going to have an easy time with that. So yeah, I need a way over it. Which means I need like an object to help me vault over it. I don't know if this will give me enough height. I ideally need something like a barrel. Is there a barrel back here? There it is. I don't know if that gave me enough height. Just barrels are pain the mood. Oh god, I can't even... This guy has like no strength. I don't have to engineer Way for the barrel to roll over. Come on, come on. Oh my god, it has not gonna work. <laughs> The objects move like Yeah, and that's not gonna work. So I can't really engineer a solution at this rate. Unless I have some way of making certain that's you know stable that doesn't absolutely get
completely damn ruined. My uh, engineer solution. Or oh, maybe. Come on, come on, yes! I will get this bow to where it needs to be, <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> yeah, bow implants. Ouch. Let's take the battery out. No more electricity. I can turn it on. I need be but for the moment I'm keeping that thing up. We can all uh, can't break it down I guess. Do I really want to be breaking a door down that says explosives? I need the explosives, so <laughs> it's kind of necessary. <laughs> so all that work just to get to a door, which I currently can't even break with the two tools I have. I doubt. That I can burn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's a metal door. I'm not going to be able to burn through it. looks like a crank that I can't crank. Okay, maybe I can break some more things. Now I have this pickaxe. And now I can just, you know, mine now. Uh, the cave in just yeah I don't think this is gonna work <laughs> and demon dog's corpse is gone I believe Which is cool. Good explosive. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. Just <laughs> trying things to its limit. Is there any reason to head back though? And plus I won't be here. Much longer. I've already searched the tunnels down below. Is that I was able to get through the door and stuff down there by breaking through. So I don't have much, many, well actually no places to search. Oh, 
Hello, friend. Want to for round two? Yeah, that's right. Oh, you gonna run away? Oh, oh, oh. Damn demon dog, huh? Yeah. I'm the ruler of this domain. No demon dogs are going to tell me what to do. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, there wouldn't be anything else to offer. So... Yeah. Can I burn this damn dog? I wish I could burn you. Why can't I burn it? Make things so much easier. Just to burn it. Just in case, I'm putting Bart there. There must be some reason I can. I mean, there was a uh, that crack in the room. I don't think I could actually really yeah. yeah, I can't really get high enough to I mean I slightly get but I don't think there's any freedom for that. So yeah. Even with the pickaxe, I can't break through something like this metal and potentially get into any holes. So. Hmm. Oh! I can break this door? That wasn't... something I was able to do before. Dynamite! Okay. But where would I even use that? I have TNT dynamite, the part of a different explosive that I haven't even got all the ingredients for. I could definitely use a dynamite, but what do I accomplish? Like... I have a dynamite. <laughs> what do I do? Maybe given the fact that I have this TNT, 
Let's block this over. Might as well before leaving end with the explosion. Let's see if this works. No more cavins, only freedom. That didn't accomplish anything. So I just wasted that. I think. What the heck is my goal then? If that's not critical to the mission, like. Wherever I'm supposed to be going, and wherever I'm, there's nothing else in here. Yeah, I think I'm done with this place. Just be training the same ground. I don't know. It doesn't seem like I'm exactly <laughs> getting anywhere quickly. Maybe I could have blown up that. Just, I don't know. It hasn't given me any clues. I've kind of already explored the and then places I have access to, so... Yeah. Oh. A box of string. Now I just would need, uh, the gunpowder. I didn't even notice that. So, what's the chances I didn't notice? Something around here. Like more dynamite! At least I have a spare. I might as well try and explode a one long thing before I fully topple out of here. I think I know why I need to explode. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, demon dog. Where are you? Demon dog. Come out to play. Where the hell is it going? Did I actually kill it? There's no way I actually killed the darn thing. Actually, kill the darn demon dog. I didn't die the first time. Alright, there it is. 
the corpse is back where it was originally, but I took down another demon dog. Where was it? It's like around here. What the hell is going on then? Then, what the heck is going on? That's no, not my problem, honestly. It's not my problem. Honestly, let's see if I can. If you're going down, demon dog, I'm going with it. I didn't even kill me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, I just tanked that. <laughs> yeah, whoever I am is definitely anomalous. That's something I can say for certain at this point. You know, I guess, uh, time to topple off here. Yeah. Back to the foundation. Goddamn. Alright, back at the foundation. Well, uh, I guess, uh, finally back to Penumbra after a long time. Either way, I guess, uh, we've got other things to take care of now. Indeed, Michael. God, it's still so weird to see the team this small. It's honestly uh, concerning how small the team's gone. I mean, we can split into two, Michael. The, the two halves of me. Yeah, you know. Just, uh, yeah, and darkness might take advantage of that. I know, but, uh, it, it's just an option that we can't really have for, you know, something to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, for a moment, let's not, but. S will keep in mind. I mean, you're still free to do it if you feel it's the case. Like, you are your own person. Or technically persons. And so it's weird sometimes in the multiverse, but you, you can do what you want. You know, so that's just... Uh, Choose wisely. Yeah, so I'll definitely think about Michael. Yeah. Either way, uh, anything anyone else has got to report? Anything on the Trinity front, Foxy? Uh, nothing to report. I've just been, you know, keeping an eye out, so, you know, for anything, yeah. Or also, uh, definitely keep an eye out for uh, another entity. I think a uh, entity affected Max. I don't know if they're hostile or not. Judging from the fact they transported Max, it's probably not hostile, but still, I. I have a suspicion that it might be a god. 
not that there's many left, honestly. But then again, it was mainly all religious gods are gone. It doesn't mean, I guess, all god gods, like. Like, there still could be other gods similar to Aeons or Archons or some other type, potentially. I guess I'll find out uh, in time, but yeah. Keep an eye out, Foxy. Yeah, I, I will, Michael. So I keep an eye out. Rogers, anything with the detective agency? Think we're all good at MD? Well, now it's just me. But, uh, all, all good. As you miss, uh, Seb, don't you? A bit, yeah. For a little bit, it was like how things used to be, but. As he's gone now, and it's just me, as you know, most of the time, yeah, right, it's, uh, I I'm sorry, it it's fine, Michael, I'll get things done, don't you worry, yeah, you, you take care of yourself, Rogers, alright, yeah, Michael, anyway, uh, Boop, boop, Rebecca, anything, uh, from, uh, need to, uh, anything, uh, you know, from, I guess, timekeepers, whatever, uh, timekeeping's still good, so, yeah. Yeah, and the sooner we can lose the other timeline, the better at this point. It's hardly up for consideration, and plus, yeah, and the cracks can't really grow until, you know, you cease to it again. And that's when it starts to potentially grow again, so it started... Uh, you know, you know, with that uh, trip with uh, the R. Rogers, uh, the Dante version, uh, but, uh, you know, the cracks can't really grow at the moment, so it won't be until, like, December or January until they potentially grow again, if they do. And yeah, yeah, and the crackers, like, you know, more like a, you could hardly call it a crack at this point, it's more like a dot, given that it's only just, you know, the divergence only just, like, started, but, yeah, still something that will have to be kept, uh, that I will have to be kept on it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely I'd do that, Rebecca. I will. Boop boop anything. Boop boop hasn't got anything in particular. Boop boop's just doing what they can to help. Yeah, indeed. I think we should go to Cold Steel, help them out. There's a uh, and if they have leftovers, we should help them. And it's, it might be um, key and critical. I don't know. I'm fumbling my words almost, but whatever. Either way, it's key and critical, so uh, let, let's uh, get there now. So let's uh, teleport now to Cold Steel. So yeah, goddamn. Alright, we're here at Cold Steel. God, it's a lot more vacant now that our team has shrunk inside. 
Yeah, you've lost quite a few members. Uh, sorry about this. Your losses, my god. I'm sure I am, we're, you know, good friends. Yeah, Basil. Anyway, uh, we're here for, I guess, uh, the leftover missions. Whatever you guys have left over. Yeah, we have a few for you. Uh, we'll start, you know, one by one. Uh, there'll be a uh, Jimmy and Mikel and uh, Headspace Basil uh, join you. Oh, I'm going to be uh, elsewhere on uh, other missions with the rest of, uh, you know, called Steel Slash the Amore game. Yeah. Yes, uh, you all have your own <laughs> missions. Yeah, Michael. Uh, we definitely, at this point, uh, you know, have uh, our own uh, different missions in varying team sizes, depending on what's needed, as with the remaining 12 of us, uh, you know, we could be split into, you know, t two teams of six, or uh, three teams of uh, four, you know, four teams of three, what is needed for the, the situation, but usually it's uh, a case of uh, being split even teams just because that's more convenient. So teams of four or six are our main splits. But obviously there's 13 of us so sometimes you know there's an extra member for one of the team. So, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, uh, you know, six and seven, or four, four and five, or, yeah, and if you reverse that, it's like, uh, five, four, four, yeah. Indeed. Wait. That's Orange's number. Oh yeah, it is. That's a uh, five coincidence. But uh, yeah. Uh, e either way, uh. Yeah, the, the rest of us are going to be busy, so be a headspace, Basil, Jimmy and Mikel will help you guys. Yeah, I guess you guys have gone proficient doing your thing now. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have the sun. Uh, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, you guys are getting proficient. Obviously not as much experience as me and some of my team, but still impressive for what, what, what uh, time has passed, you know, how much uh, time has uh, passed, I guess, since it's been uh, Cold Steel's uh, formed, I guess. But yeah, good, good job, uh, am I? Thanks, Michael. Anyway, uh, as uh, headspace battle, you're gonna give us the missions as we go along. Yeah, I I have uh, the list, so uh, we can go through each thing until they're all done. 
So, yeah. At least a significant portion that, uh, you know, will make things a lot uh, easier. Honestly, with the more and more of the, the you know, uh, foundation uh, helping us, uh, uh, it, it's become a lot easier. So, yeah. As a lot of the foundation doesn't have much to do. Well, some people have been able to help with other things. It's, you know, uh, other things in the actual real world sometimes need to be dealt with. So, a lot of uh, MTF, I believe, have joined uh, IOTA 10 and stuff. The IO 10 division has grown in size, I think, quite exponentially. Yeah, because IO 10 is the one that helps police and stuff. So, yeah, I would imagine that they're probably becoming probably the new most uh, uh, resourced uh, MTF unit since well the nine tail fox or the epsilon 11 their main job is to capture and contain SCPs but there are no SCPs well there's still you know anomalies but you know, the foundation, you know, doesn't really technically operate the same. I mean, there's still probably be some that caption style to learn, as learning is always critical. But yeah, in general, it seems like the Nine Tail Fox uh, have nothing. And it's, you know, kind of, you know, ironic given the fact I'm in it. But I've also been in the IO-10, so, yeah. Yeah. Here I have, I have the list uh, whenever you're ready to start. One thing before we start... Though, why is it Mikael? Oh, you have uh, something to bring up to Michael, don't you? Yes, indeed, uh, Basil. Why is it uh, Mikael? I've been uh, concerned. Concerned about what? Concerned about the fact that with the damage, you know, done, the cracks and the multiverse whatever that eventually that uh, something I don't know big could come through the tracks that have been made it'll become the 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 cracks between the multiverse will soon more so become a whole if uh, I can't keep it stable. Luckily, the Sims help. I mean, you've t helped Michael, but only takes, you know, one poor in, you know, the right place to make all the difference in the world. Yeah. The wrong man in the right place can make all the difference in the world. That's why I heard from, you know, G-Man, you know, before the events of that uh, Half-Life, so... Yeah, I, I think you're probably correct, Mikael. Yeah, 
my car, so uh, I'm concerned that you know someone trying to force their way through could break open you know the cracks into basically being just a big hole and then uh, then we might be dealing with more than we have been as usually the stuff we deal with is stuff from different stuff uh, that's usually from video games that's you know we we seen it but you know can hardly caught you know video games when it's actually reality yeah Mikhail I, I I think I get your point so but we've been lucky so far to deal with the minimal amount of stuff from like TV shows and movies sort of stuff I mean there's kind of been some I mean Star Wars is you know movies and TV shows Doctor Who's TV show from you know the the point of you know from the perspective of uh, you know the real world if you can you know you know call it as as the real one but that's usually the what uh, the top layer is referred to as it's the layer that can't be accessed even though there's potentially layers above it it's the really the eye of the storm of sorts and no access points whatever but uh, but we can't worry about that and plus we have no idea what would happen if the real world leaked into what is usually referred to as fiction Michael yeah we, we have no idea what would happen so anyway my, my point is uh, I feel like soon enough we're going to have to deal with stuff of nightmares did you just activate your flashlight near yeah, by accident? I guess uh, it's on the fritz, yeah. But uh, I I'm worried more specifically looking at uh, the different frequencies of, you know, story mediums as yet again, where you are know, actively dealing with the living story so I wanted to be uh, prepared and I'm the most worried about uh, uh, stuff from the anime frequency aka the stuff mainly from uh, Japan it always seems to be Japan where things happen yeah why, why is it always Japan <laughs> that proves to give sometimes the, the biggest problem like I know then it's like you know monsters whatever like Godzilla and whatever but uh, or Godzilla, if you want to actually say it uh, correctly, uh, but uh, that that doesn't really matter. This, uh, um, um, either way, uh, uh, why why is it always? I guess. 
there that something happens. I don't know, but I'm particularly worried about that. I mean, my guy is uh, stuff from animes or manga sometimes can be stuff of a nightmare. I'm sure you've probably seen a handful of it. Uh, uh, Michael, but some of it can truly be a incomprehensible nightmares that are sometimes produced. Like, it, it's definitely the things that we would not want crossing over. And if that hole is made, I guess uh, they, they will come, so yeah, we, we need to be wary. I agree, I guess, uh, Mikhail. We'll, we'll do everything in our power to stop it. But I think that means right now we need to, you know, clear the table of any extra stuff, any extra bits and bobs that might slow us down, that uh, it, it's cleared off so that uh, things can move smoothly hang forward. I guess I agree with you on that, Michael. Just, you know, we, we definitely need to have to be careful and make certain to prevent anything from further happening. Yeah, Mikhail, we will do so. Anyway, it doesn't seem like we're in any particular danger given the current situation right now where darkness has to kind of back off and they don't have allies or manpower for anything right now. Yeah, Michael just, um, you know, just, uh, just but anyway, I, I'll let uh, Basil finally tell, you know, our first mission. I just wanted to bring up, yeah, Mikhail. Anyway, Basil, you can go ahead now. Yes, yes, uh, anyway, uh, uh, our first mission is to see a pilot. A pilot? Why? Are oh, they reported, uh, you know, not being treated fairly as, uh, well, I, I probably should have said this to start with, uh, the pilot is anomalous. We've had uh, some anonymous people come through uh, the the rift, uh, and that uh, they, you know, uh, happen to, you know, be a, you know, human. So uh, yeah. We've been uh, helping out anyone, like, anomalous, but see again with, you know, multiversal stuff taking priority. We haven't dispatched uh, anyone to go help them. I see. Well, then, we're going to help them. As, uh... They probably don't want to wait forever. Yeah. They probably don't. So you've helped a ray of people at Space Basil to, I guess, help them adjust? Yeah. That's very kind and considerate of you to do. I didn't realize 
Cold Steel's operations had expanded so far. Yeah, well, we've had to do a lot given uh, uh, that uh, you're busy a lot of time dealing with things, Michael, so we we've had a lot to deal with. Well, I guess uh, I I'm sorry I can't help sooner. It it's fine, Michael. We know that uh, your your work is important for you know everyone. The whole damn multiverse would have collapsed probably a dozen times if it wasn't for you. And technically, or it has collapsed a few times, but you've rebuilt it every time. So, yeah. So, yeah, so don't, don't be too hard on yourself, Dad. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be, I, I shouldn't be. Anyway, I guess uh, we'll go help the pilots and uh, now I guess you have our missions afterwards. Yeah, just uh, gonna be going down the list of missions to you know clear them out. And uh, plus, uh, with you know more resources that have come over. More and more of the leftovers are being solved by the general uh, MTF uh, units, the the standard, you know, you know, MTF units. So all the agents and all that. Yeah, uh, I guess that is probably uh, helpful. Yeah, that's uh. Let's uh, get going. Yes, indeed. So, uh, goodbye, the rest of the team. I'll be hanging with uh, Michael, good luck, Basil. Yeah, good luck, Basil. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I guess I'll probably need it, but I'll have a uh, Mikhail and Jimmy by my side and uh, you know all of my costumes so it should be good and go good luck uh, everyone else uh, either way uh, you ready to go Michael? Yeah I think I'm ready. You I just uh, lead the way. Alright, then I'll tell us to the first place we need to go. So yeah, yes, uh, this time I'll be someone else teleporting the whole group beside you, Michael. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, uh, time to teleport out of here. Goddamn. Alright, I'm here. And this must be some sort of cargo storage plane. I mean, Basil did mention a pilot. Ah, there's a pilot. Wait, you're a Russian pilot. Interesting. Given uh, what once happened, but as that conflict is a uh, long past, uh, thanks to, you know, foundation wise. Getting a, you know, peace or, you know, resolution. Yeah. I mean, my co pilot is uh, from Ukraine. Oh, yes, I see. Hi there. But I'm guessing uh, you're an anomalous pilot then? Indeed. Or. 
I heard that you killed the all world dominance, didn't you? Yeah, I did, which means, well, everyone's dead. Every single one is dead. Doesn't matter who or what, that they're all gone. Like, the, the board had to be white clean, like, it, it had to be done, but, you know, what's gonna happen next, it seems like, now things are changing, like, things are hanging towards corporations, basically, running the world, yeah, well, unfortunately, that can't be avoided. It is the destiny of the future, thanks to our parts of things like uh, Deus Ex and uh, Cyberpunk uh, pieces of the, the th those two sections of the timeline to come in the future but uh yeah I, I, I'm uh, sorry but I, I did what I had to are you sure killing everyone was the right thing I guess uh time will tell I guess uh I guess uh one thing that has been told thanks to time is that one day I'll be very busy. That's, uh, I won't even have time for my own family. My own family, I guess that would suck. Yeah, two members of which, uh, Family, you know, here enough. Well, actually, a lot of uh, family in a way. Well, actually, more than two. <laughs> because, uh, uh, well, uh, Lamine's my wife right here. Oh, uh, Jimmy's my half brother. Interesting. There's my son, Basil Waits. One of the key leaders of Cold Steel is the son. Oh, yeah, it's Basil Anderson. And so that makes sense. There's your son. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, Rebecca's kind of my half mom, not my biological mother, but uh, she uh, created me in a way. How the hell does that work? It's a long story. Uh, boop boops, uh, half my grandmother, half my biological grandmother, half? How the hell does that work? It, yeah, yeah, and it's a long story and uh, Rogers is, uh, uh, so, uh, Rogers is, I guess, uh, my, uh, nephew once, uh, removed, I believe, because Lawrence is one layer down, so then, uh, uh, Nathan, so yeah, they're my uh, nephew once removed. God damn. What sort of weird family tree do you have? Trust me, it's it's long and complicated. It's kind of a running like cag at this point, you know. Like, like the comedy term, yeah. I know, but Scott, this is so weird. 
I thought the foundation was secret or something. When did that change? Me. It, you're, you're looking at it. You're looking at the very reason why a lot of stuff is less secret. It was me. Because... You know, secrets are good and I still, you know, there's still some things that only the foundation should know. But now it's more in the sense of multiversal things that are really kept a secret. Anomalies can hardly be kept secret as well. You're, you're one of them, which... I, I guess uh, we should actually get on to you. Yeah, I guess we should uh, get on to me. Just, uh, I guess, uh, there's a lot of questions to ask a man like you. Someone that, I guess, uh, took charge and literally changed the world forever. You've done so much for your actions for better for worse but I guess uh, you, you have a plan won't you you're a general aren't you yep I'm a general general of the uh, the MTF um, I guess I guess uh, General of the overall foundation, or I have a different title. I'm the director, for, formerly a administrator, but uh, that role was uh, given to a, um, a, a someone else uh, that was usually referred to an administrator till they died, and now it's. Uh, that their son uh, will 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 tag as uh, now administrator. Will tag it. Yes, uh, that sounds like an interesting name. I feel like I may have heard of the name. Well, you'll certainly be hearing it a lot more in the future. <laughs> When uh, we get down the line uh, by uh, uh, 26 years, yeah, tw about 26 years, well, maybe less than now, 25, uh, I'm not exactly certain when exactly his name will be more known, but uh, you'll be hearing his name a lot more, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I, I think that's enough questions about, you know, us. We should get on to you. What are your problems? What are your issues? I, I guess uh, being an anomalous individual. I'm guessing you're not particularly anomalous. No, I'm not particularly anomalous. All I can do is like, you know, some sort of basic sort of almost magic stuff. Like I, I can create sort of like fire from my hands. I can, uh, uh, uh do a few other things like uh, run faster than an average human, just some minor uh, anomalous powers. Yeah, so what, what problem do you have in particular then? It's not about the powers themselves, it's more about how people are reacting. Have people been mistreating you? Yeah, they think I'm a freak. 
and you know all that for having you know these powers even though now anomalies have become known uh, you know some people have uh, accept it as reality but uh, others uh, you know treating the anomalous people with uh, you know the, the same way you know like in the past that you know women have been treated or you know people of darker skin tones or you know more recently with you know discoveries of different you know mental uh, uh, you know, uh, m mind things, uh, I, I forget the right term because uh, it's sometimes hard to remember but you know, different uh, that, that mental I guess uh, faculties are not says you know the, the same as you know our people you know all, all the different things autism uh aaht uh, and all that yeah I, I am familiar my creator <laughs> has uh autism and uh yeah <laughs> Sometimes, even through the multiverse, uh, I kind of get a bit of it myself through uh, transmission. That stuff can be transmitted through multiverse? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, again, there's a lot of complicated facets of uh, multiverse. And you don't need to know it all, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of complicated things, but uh, yeah, either way, uh, we'll help you however we can. So, uh, yeah, but one thing that definitely will be done is, you know, for people's knowledge of, you know, anomalies, because if they can understand anomalies, I think then, you know, people will be less harsh and rude and I guess uh, arrogant and whatever. Yeah, but might not remove the problem entirely. Yes, yes, I, I'm aware. I mean, that's, you know, the problem with, you know, life, certain concepts will never die, they might fade, but they'll never be truly gone, like, you know, that there's, you know, less sexism, but it still exists, there's less racism but still exists and I guess you know now even the anomalous shall be discriminated on and it'll be up to the work of many people to make certain that there's a good change and I know eventually It'll happen again when getting down the timeline, as I mentioned, uh, Deus Ex and Cyberpunk, eventually there'll be sort of a new uh, form of racism to uh, augmented people, or usually they're called orgs as a way of being rude and uh, uh, derogatory and whatever, so, 
Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's always going to be a ongoing battle, no matter who you are and where you may be from, like, it, it's always going to be a ongoing battle, but we'll help you as much as we can. That's a uh, our job to help who we can no matter what and you know make things uh, you know better and safer for the, the whole world so yeah don't you worry uh, but we'll help you out yeah but what are you going to do for me in particular at the moment? I don't know. It's always hardest to figure out the immediate thing. As, you know, knowledge and, you know, all, all that. Uh, you know, making a stand, you know, will make a difference slowly over time. But immediate cause and effect is always the hardest thing to achieve. Uh, so is there something we can particularly do for you? Something that's particularly bothered you the most? Well, I've chosen to be a pilot because it keeps me away from those sort of people, especially being a, a, a cargo like a pilot, I can keep away from those people that are, you know, causing, you know, you know, me, I guess, uh, mental harm, those who think I'm lesser because I'm anomalous and you know it, it, it's definitely been a hard time but yeah I, I've already done part of something to get away from it so I guess the, the least you could do it is make certain that uh, any of my family and friends don't suffer um, because they're related to me by blood or all so um, please uh, help my uh, friends and family can you uh, give me a list or Basil? Do you have a, a personnel uh, file for them? Uh, yeah, I probably have their family members for file, but uh, it'll be up to them to give us their list of friends. Yeah, so. Uh, a list of your friends would uh, be handy. Yeah, just uh, give me a sec to write it down. Should have a pen and paper. Just give me a sec to write down my friends' names and make certain that they're not suffering. Yeah, I don't think we'll necessarily get to them more quickly but we'll definitely help so yeah but we'll help your friends when we can yeah thanks uh, Michael but here's the list thanks uh, here you go as I'll trust you to probably handle it yeah I'll probably get a uh, 
certainly are MTF capable uh, help helping on the, this situation as it be a bit uh, tedious to split up the whole team right now so I'll, I'll quickly make some uh, arrangements in a phone call and uh, yeah you, you just uh, keep uh, checking with the pilot if there's anything else yeah Basil a anything uh, else while Basil arranges things uh, uh, I don't think so Michael I mean as I'm running from my problems instead of facing them head on so I guess I've chosen this is my path for now I guess there's nothing else you can do for me immediately then help the ones around me yeah I'll, I'll make certain that your friends and family don't suffer any uh, discrimination so yeah I'll be done thanks thanks to you too Basil yeah no problems I'm just uh, organizing things over here yeah yeah I'll, I'll let you do that no Basil uh, but yeah anyway uh, I guess uh, I guess you'll sort things out but uh, I guess before you go because you'll probably be going aren't you you guys are very busy aren't you yeah we're typically typically are uh, quite uh, busy uh, a lot of times so uh, do you have some final questions for us yeah like you you guys uh, like have a lot of interesting faces like what the hell are those two they're foxy and uh, Ina that um I guess uh, sort of uh, Aeon species one of the few left I guess that they, they, they come from a world where everyone's like muscular and I guess uh, you know thick yeah because those are two of the most muscular women I've ever seen <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, I guess so and uh, not to be impolite but they're, they're you know breasts are yeah it, it can definitely throw off people when they are <laughs> initially see it yeah I, I'm honestly surprised I wasn't you know more surprised but then again I came from a, a different earth that was uh, destroyed ah so that's what happened to you that's why you're here and our earth was destroyed yeah it, it was destroyed yes uh, with our multiverses there will always be other earths what happened anyway it, it was a horrible destruction I, I hardly knew what was going on something was there some things that uh, 
we, we, I only called them the, the seers, this, they usually had eyes on them, like, and, uh, one, one distinct thing about them is, uh, they always had, like, uh, 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 red orb, like, some of them even, uh, looked like, uh, angels, angels, yeah, angels, why is that important? Tell me everything you know, pilots, law. I see. So concerned. Ma, I should probably introduce you to her. That's Foxy. She's the leader of uh, the Trinity Division uh, in the Foundation. Oh, she's a, another leader of one of your divisions? Yeah. Her job is to deal with uh, gods, angels, demons, basically anything of the divine kind or it's not often so divine and usually proves to be much more of a problem but yeah tell us both uh, what you know well that these seers uh, often look like angels I mean some were just random like almost objects like spheres, pyramids, uh, squares, goddamn, you know, all, all sorts of different shapes. Somehow that sounds familiar. Yeah, Mikhail, somehow that does sound familiar. What else? Did you, uh, see, uh, lots of things that, that they adapt a lot, angels, wait, my mind, my mind is, oh, it's connecting back to, yeah, yeah, an orange gave me, uh, access to it, it's, uh, memories if need be uh my creators recently finally started watching neon genesis evangelion that's it michael that's what he's talking about the pilot saw the angels do you know of them mikhail i've had my uh, run-ins with that lot of angels. I'm surprised you haven't, but then again, doesn't seem like there's many angels left, especially those are directly from the living light. What do you know, Mikhail? I know this group sort of became its own separate group. For some reason they decided to have a, a key weakness with the, the red orbs like if you destroyed them they die. Yeah yeah we, we fought against them that's kind of why I'm you know a, a military pilot now it's actually what I used to do but I don't want to fight anymore that's why I'm more supply guy these days but yeah we, we fought against the sea so I guess are they actually angels they are angels as far as I'm aware they're actually 
and it's uh, divergent from the angels of the living lights. But I believe their leader, their true leader, is uh, older than all. Their supposed true leader was a uh, angel named Adam, but the actual oldest was uh, uh, let me try and remember. I believe it started with the M. A M name, like. Another Mick or you know Michael name as that always seems to happen. Yeah, probably along that those lines. Why if it was Michael because we know of the actual angel Michael, I mean is in my head. You have an an angel in your head which is yeah again why my world was destroyed but it's not exactly by choice it's just so sort of went there I guess I should uh, ask him questions wake him up angel Michael wake up what's going on I have questions for you What the heck's going on? Oh yeah, you probably don't hear. Let me let you hear what's going on with my head. Uh, since you're still relatively normal. Um, anyway, uh, Michael, uh, I have some questions about angels. Sure. Why is it? You and uh, Gabriel are so Surprise, right? Yeah. So, do you know other affairs of the angel? So, of course, my girl. All of it. Well, what do you know of uh, a divergent group of uh, angels? Ones that desire uh, to have red orbs as a Weakness, uh, Yang and why would you know divine figures have such a easy weakness if what you two say is true? Like, like, was it just that someone needed to destroy the red orb to stop them? Yeah, Michael, exactly. Yeah. If you destroyed the red orb, it would kill the seal, the, the angel. I see. So, uh, other Michael, uh, what, what, what do you know of them? Do you know anything? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I know. Uh. uh I, I believe uh, uh, Adam let them. That's not why, no. I think the li true leader of the angels was someone named Stein with an M name, and you're basically one of the only, I guess, uh, Angels with an M name, Michael. So you must know something more. I I truly don't. I I'm sorry, but uh, I I really don't know more about them other than. They are uh, 
that there's probably one thing that I guess you guys wouldn't be aware of that you might want to know is uh, those are angels they help the living darkness help the living darkness that's pretty important. What do you mean by that, Michael? What the heck's the living darkness? Uh, Pilot, uh, not right now. Tell me, Michael, other Michael, Angel Michael, I don't care. What it is, like, what, what the point of their team up was, like, well, uh, I, I believe that, you know, they teamed up uh, to keep a uh, balance of, you know, light and dark in exchange that, well, that they be, you know, key survivors beyond any else, and it's a Deal that darkness surprisingly on it. Weird. It's usually darkness that, you know, I faced has been deceitful and doesn't always keep up its deal. Why would they do that? I don't know, but part of the deal was that the angels had to destroy humanity. Only humanity? Yeah, only humanity. No other species were part of the deal. I don't know why it was humans that were chosen but so I would suspect that their leader Adam would know more. But I swear their true leader isn't Adam. I know it. By if not you, who was it? I can't remember. It'll come to you, Mikhail. Don't you worry. I swear it was someone with an M name. I swear on my life. Michael, I trust you, Mikhail. I trust you. But it doesn't seem like... Michael is the angel we're looking for. So... We gotta keep searching. And it doesn't seem like Michael has anything to hide. Yeah, I have nothing to hide from you guys. If I did know, I would tell you. But I have nothing else to tell you guys. I'm sorry. It's fine, Michael. I guess we must be missing a piece of puzzle I guess uh, there'll be something for us to handle yeah thanks Michael your insight will be invaluable to probably uh, Trinity yeah thanks I guess uh, as well for letting me know that uh, about angels, or as I used to call them, the seers, but now I know exactly who needs to pay. Hey, leave this to us, pilots. This isn't uh, your jurisdiction. Trust us to get done. But I want to help. You can help if you do end up getting, you know, 
further involved, you know, with things, you know, actually coming a part of the foundation would probably be a start, but uh, that's all up to you. Then I want to join the foundation. Don't just join our face for revenge. Just join it if you really think your place is with us. Because trust me, you will die if you're, you're not joining for the right reasons. And you still may die anyway, given the current situation. Yeah, why is that... Uh, thing you mentioned, the living darkness, it's your worst nightmare, so believe me when I say that you, you rather not join us. I've lost a lot of friends, and despite as big as this team might seem, right now it used to be a lot bigger and we've lost a lot of members so don't join unless you are ready to fully commit as so it can all be gone in a blink of an eye uh, alright I guess I'll take that into consideration if I want to join you, but I want revenge against the angels. I'm sure you do, but don't act with a great amount of uh, haste. Anyway, uh, Basil, you, you saw things for him now, right? Yeah, I, I've saw things to help his friends and family. I think we're going to move on to the next mission. So, here's a number to contact the Foundation. Think about your choice wisely, as it's not a choice that can be made so easily. Yeah, I, I guess so. Just, it's the angels that are the reason I'm here. Maybe I would be in a bad place if it wasn't for angels. Don't take your frustrations out just because, you know, you're not happy with, you know, things currently in the current situation, because, you know, this is probably being egged on by the fact that you, you don't want people to be so rude to you, so don't let your rage that will only blind you. Be wise with your decisions and then join us if you actually want to help. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, Michael. Alright, let's uh, get moving along though. This is very interesting though. Do you think um, Neon Genesis 7 Galleon could get to us, Mikhail? Well, it is an anime. And remember what I was saying earlier. It's exactly the sort of thing that would be able to break through the cracks. If, uh, you know, 
the multiversal, like, you know, cracks even more, like, gets damaged more. We would be soon dealing with angels on a regular basis, more than just the few stragglers we've had to deal with so far, like Gabriel, uh, you know, White Knights, uh, Gabriel again, uh, uh, CR2 and, uh, you know, uh, Gabriel again. <laughs> Yeah, 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 in indeed, uh, Mikhail, it seems like Gabriel is appears after with doubt with, a, you know, different, dangerous, you know, Angel, like, huh? like, zero two or, or uh, white knights. Gabriel is, uh, reappears again and again and again. But yeah, either way, I guess, uh, we, we should be moving on, so. What's the next mission, uh, Basil? The next mission is actually a bit of a diplomacy, as it's kind of needed because some key leaders have died because of you know, car events and all that. Uh, mainly, partly because of a, a few things that have gone on, like the Arbor dying, uh, the USC, uh, you know, uh, government being, you know, basically demolished uh, thanks to, you know, the events that, uh, happened with, you know, the payday gang and all that. Yeah, so, wait. Oh yeah, so, isn't Sumi uh, now in charge of the Sanghili, the elites? Yeah, but it's uh, made the diplomacy a bit trickier. It's, uh, it means that diplomacy is now starting, well, uh, it seems like the first, I guess, uh, iteration of the corporate governments is now starting to be, uh, uh, you know, come to light. And, uh, the, the, you know, with the, you know, change of leaders from, you know, the Arbiter who was well, you know, respected to Sumi who's not as known amongst the same like people. It's uh, making it bit harder for, you know, the, the peace between all, all the different uh, species to be maintained and uh, unfortunately we, we've had to leave it for a bit as it's been brewing for a, a bit but it's managed to stay stable but we're worried that we don't intervene that somehow the first iteration of the corporate governments will screw over diplomacy essentially yeah I guess uh, we'll handle it so where are we heading to 
Uh, we decided the best place to have it was at uh, Cold Steel. And it, uh, even on uh, neutral ground, because no one really, uh, you know, owns the moon while it's still technically human space, but, uh, but the moon is still relatively, you know, uninhabited, so, uh, Cold Steel is the best place for it. Alright, so then I guess, uh, we'll go then, uh, make certain diplomacy is, uh, put in play, so yeah. Yes, goodbye, uh, pilot, uh, see you in time, yeah, indeed, yes, I'll get back to, you know, working with, uh, my co-pilot, he, he, my co-pilot once mentioned, you know, working with, uh, someone, like else before me, like another individual that seemed uh, interesting as he said as they were engineer and uh, you know pilot, engineer and pilot, that sounds familiar. Who, who did your co-pilot work with in the past? Uh, some guy named Matt. <laughs> uh, Max, Max, a bartender. Do you know him? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Why, why bring it up? Well, I just thought I would bring it up because, well, my co-pilot said that they were in stress, interesting uh, individual and I figure you're a probably looking for others potentially like me, so I figured, uh, you know, Max might be someone to mention, but I didn't, you know, rem remember his name until you <laughs> mentioned him. I guess you already found him. Yeah, I... Yeah, I found Max a long time ago. Oh, it's not anomalous. Why did you think it's anomalous? No, just my my co-pilot suspected he had that potential. Yeah, I suspected it. While you were right, uh, <laughs> co-pilot, they end up being anomalous in the end. I knew it. <laughs> How's Max anyway? Uh, good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, no longer piling or doing engineering stuff. Just runs a bar called uh, the Underbar. Interesting. That's the last place I would expect him to end up, I guess. He, he was always the drinking type, so I guess uh, uh, bartender makes sense. Yeah, well, uh, Max is all right, so yeah. I'll, I'll tell him I, I saw you. What, what's your name, uh, uh, sir? Ah, uh, I'm Euphrasia. Euphrasia, that's a, quite a interesting name, but I'll mention to Max I, uh, uh, saw you, so yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. And yeah. And yeah. And why I, I, um, I haven't even gotten your name, uh, sir. 
Oh yeah, I'm uh Macross. Macross. Yeah, it definitely sounds uh kinda Russian, so yeah, nice to meet you. So yeah. Uh good luck to you too. Uh, I'm sure this might not be the last I see of you too, but then again, uh, I'm not really working at the small scale these days, usually worrying about the multiverse, so uh, there's a chance I might never see you two again, but uh, good, good luck you two. And uh, yeah, but we've got more missions to go on. Yeah, uh, so good luck to you guys and thanks, Michael. No problem. But yeah, but as a lot, let's finally uh, get on to some diplomacy, why don't we? Yeah, I'll top us now to the next location. You guys can top us. Yeah, of course. How do you, you think we got up here? Fly here? Well, I was half expecting it, yes. We, we can teleport and stop. That's cool. Well, I'll let you get to it. Yes, yeah, so, good luck. And I. Definitely hope you're doing the right thing, Michael, for the world. Yeah, I hope so too. Anyway, bye, Macro. Bye, Euphrasia team. Let's go. So, Basil, if you would do the honors. Yep. Let's uh, teleport to the next location, everyone. Goddamn. Alright. We're here. At a uh, cold steel. What are you guys uh, going to be doing? I guess uh, there's not enough room in the the meeting room for you guys. We're going to keep an eye out. It often seems that sometimes during times of diplomacy is when you know enemies seem to strike to ruin things, so we're going to keep an eye out. That's fair. Mikhail, as I will head inside and see everyone, I guess. Basil, Headspace Basil is the representative of a cold steel. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll head inside and you guys uh, you know, keep an eye out. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. Alright, here I am. Represents of all kinds of might. Tag it? Well, hi, Michael. Yeah. Did I mention our uh, tag it's here? As he is the administrator of the foundation. So, yeah. Quite interesting that you're not quite the leader you were before. Michael, what do you mean? I'm still a leader. Only a general. General? That's not true. Yes, indeed, that's not true. Is the director. Director? This is the first news I've heard of it. That's uh. No, everyone knows, and I guess someone like you wouldn't care because all you care about is money, I'm guessing. 
Hey, that's rather rude. I like <laughs> this one. Michael, you are definitely. I feel like you would make a good brute chieftain and high folly. Known you for a few minutes, but I've heard of what you've done, and I feel like you, my friend, would make a good brute chieftain. Well, I never. I just want to go back to helping my people. The ungoy deserve better after the senseless slaughter of my people. That's all I care for for my people. I want the name of my people to be restored. To no longer be seen as savages. The brutes have reformed, you can trust me on that. Not many, if any, saw the truth. We are dying rates, almost practically extinct. And the same can go for the grunts, but they have the benefits of their population noise can regrow a lot quicker where we brutes haven't always had the most luck. Same as the jackal so the King Yar the don't have as much luck. Yes, we do not. Wow, a jackal actually speaks English. I am one of the few, and that's why I am a representative here. As a representative for the true leader of my people as they are still do not really know English that well but either way we do not want to die as a species and there has been far too much war but this God damn, salesman is a fool. I have to agree. The grants agree too, same here. This man has no knowledge of honor and of the saying Healy. I, as the minister of the foundation, also have to agree that you don't know anything. As a representative of Cold Sea, I also feel like you're unfit for your spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. But what are we going to do? Time demands a government that is corporate. I don't know, Michael. We need a solution. Someone that can, you know, easily gain their trust. Someone that, you know, thinks like them or can think like them and get things done. Hmm. I might just know the man. Wait. Of course. Tag it. Me? Tag, remember I've told you, you are, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Basil, you, uh, uh, 
in, in the future you're respected as uh, one of them. I, I guess I never realized potentially, well especially the first time, what you might have been doing was an act like I thought honestly uh, you were uh, do shit kind of a prick but now that I know the truth and this way you come from uh, I know that all that was probably an act to you know trick the media be a sort of you know divisive for attention <laughs> it's worked for uh, you know certain <laughs> you know uh, you know, presence and uh, certain people in positions of power. So I think it will work for you. Do I really want to do this? I, I, do, I, I don't know if I want to do this. Trust me. Well, soon you'll be a natural at it, given time. In a few years, you'll, you'll start to get into the rhythm. And uh, after a decade, I'm sure you'll really know what to do, like. And by the time of, you know, Deus Ex, you know, you have your own, basically, thing, like, like, I didn't know the humanity front was just a front, <laughs> was a false thing, <laughs> like, but now I know that's you. You can be my man on the inside. I think you need to run for office. So, yeah. Um, you, you need to be in charge. But uh, how am I going to get to being leader. I'm sure they're not just gonna de-elect this guy. Yeah, the council probably won't just de-elect me. Well then, your de-election has come. Oh! <laughs> A man that takes by four. <laughs> now, I might, you know, technically be trying to, you know, help reform the brutes, but even I know when a force of strength is needed. And that was definitely one. That's quite crazy what you just did there, my god. Man, you are one crazy SOB, Michael. Well, I. You know. Had to get rid of him somehow. But what. If the humans think it was us. Oh no, trust me, they'll know it's me. I'll make it them know it was me. They won't trust you and probably anyone you're associated to. So, if Will hears your way in, how are you certain they'll trust him? Thing is, like, 
barely anyone knows Will. Like, he's still an unknown factor. The fact that, uh, you know, information is slow to them, they probably could uh, reasonably believe even if they think, you know, Tad's one of us, he could just say, you know, he's not one of us, and then, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, infiltrate from there, get up the ranks, get a position of power in the new corporate government, and uh, be able to uh, change things. I'm s supposed to be the administrator of the foundation. How can I do two things? Well, I guess, uh, you know, we could always have others in the role. Although, I guess. Most people are leaving at any given time. There's not really anyone that ever stays here on Earth. So, yeah. Unless there's someone who's permanently situated on Earth most of the time. Uh, it's, I don't know who could be a new administrator. Why if I'm the new administrator, Michael? Sue me? Are you for, for real? For serious? Like, like, are, are you serious? Are you joking? Like, I'm not, Michael. Why if I do it? I... Not really, you know, as, uh, really as too welcome on saying he else at the time, despite being leader. Like, you know, the people relatively respect me, but, you know, compared to the arbor, I have, you know, a thousand miles to go, so returning home without much sense of honor, you know, it is, you know, it's detrimental for elite slash sanguine like myself. So, if I'm going to be here to help facilitate you know, peace for my people and remain here, I think then I shall be your administrator. And plus, I'm not exactly, you know, doing anything else there's no war and the only thing that I've occasionally been dragged into other simulations so I have I guess a lot of free time on my hands so if this helps I will help you Michael. How much do you even know about Sonoma? I think at this point I know enough and plots your you know team members can still help you know educate me to more of the things and I guess I am someone that is kind of already 
within your closer inner circle, maybe not the inner circle, but I am someone that commonly does get information being, you know, directly in contact with uh, Jimmy a lot of the time. So, uh, yeah, I think I can be your administrator, all right, and you'll be the new administrator. William Taggart will work up to being a leader of the corporate government since now they're going to have to, you know, you know, uh, 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 reselect the leader and, uh, you know, it took them long enough to get their first layer, so there should be time so that uh, well can be in the running so that peace can be maintained so yeah I'm sure well we'll end up exactly where we need them to end up at so yeah, I guess, Sumi, I guess uh, you're promoted to administrator. That'll still, I think Will will still be acting administrator when he has time, but once he gets deep into it, uh, he'll no longer be a uh, acting administrator. But yeah, I guess uh, everyone here has uh, secrets to keep. You can say the one piece of truth that I want to, the corporate government to know is that I killed them. <laughs> you are definitely an interesting man, Michael. No wonder. You have climbed to the top of your world and even have influence now over many worlds. Yeah, you have no idea, Chief. Uh, what's your name? I am Chief Brutius. Yes, I, I know the name is ironic. But usually I more like the name Brutii. Like your, your humans are uh, had uh, the Roman that were known as uh, the Brutii. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> indeed. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Brutus of Brutii. Nice scenario. Uh, uh, what, what's your name, uh, I guess, uh, I guess your advisor, not chief. So, uh, what, what's, uh, your name, uh, advisor? My name is... Yar Finn. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, that's my name. Uh, Yafin, interesting. Very uh, interesting name. But yeah, and uh, Grant, what's uh, your name? My name is Kip Flang. Kip Flang, that's a not interesting name. Yep, I'm the leader of the grants. Not as great as a some of our leaders like that there's definitely been some uh, great leaders like uh uh flip yap uh, the destroyer but uh yeah kit uh, Kidnap is uh, your guy. All right. Ah. Uh, Kip. Uh, yap or is it nap or snap? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's. Well, names are hard. To be fair, I've had technically both because, well, technically both are part of my name. Or, uh, yap and Flap, uh, uh, as, uh, you know, Mar and Far, oh yeah. But, uh, kidnap my, uh, god. Kidnap may have brain damage, honestly. Yeah, you do seem to be, uh, jumping erratically a bit. Yeah. But then, names don't always matter too much. Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, uh, Kip, uh, Yap, uh, uh, welcome, uh, so yeah. So yeah, yeah, yes, uh, things are going to be, uh, interesting from now on. But, uh, yeah, yes, uh, thanks, uh, Sumi for taking on a burn. It'll, it, it's fine, Michael. And uh, thanks for your guys' uh, secrecy. Um, but let them know I killed them. Especially, uh, uh, probably you two. Uh, 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 Basil and uh, well, do that. But we 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 will. Yeah, we we will, Michael. Yep. Either way, I guess. Uh, probably uh, time to continue on with whatever other missions there are to do on uh, the leftover list. As uh, as long as 
Well, in the next uh, few months, get up the chain enough, he should be in the leader position of uh, the corporate government. And that would mean uh, yeah, again, it's easier for us to keep peace when so many have died of all species, you know, here, not to mention the ones that, you know, I, you know, extinct. You know, the drones and stuff, you know, died, but for the remaining people, so we, we need to do our part. Is there still, like, Golo? The like, Golo weren't present for this, but mainly because they have no way of communicating really in English. But uh, currently I've taken it as my duty to help them as well, the remaining let go or, yeah, because we should have hunted uh, as a part of this uh, thing, and there's a free chair now if, uh, you know, uh, if I'm in the future still going to be a representative for Foundation, although I'm sure Basil or Mikhail, uh will take that place potentially. Well, Basil's already doing it technically on behalf of Cold Steel, but yeah, uh, either way, uh, <laughs> So, someone will be here for future things, uh, doesn't matter for as long as they're someone that we can trust, can keep all the people safe, but yeah, uh, let, let go always, uh, Definitely a species uh, we need on the board. Could make a translator unit. As uh, a translator unit would be very uh, handy to say all Well, Cold Steel has development teams at this point, research and development teams, I could order that uh, translator thing for the let go to be made. Yeah, do that, Basil. But, uh, yeah. Either way, uh, I guess, uh, hopefully P should be achievable in the next few uh, months. Well, I mean, it's already achieved, it's keeping it is, I guess, a concern, but yeah. Anyway, what's the next mission of Leftovers? Oh, you know how you went to Half Life, Michael? Yeah, what a lot of it. What's a group that's always present within the Half-Life universe, even when it's gone a bit weird? Uh, the Combine? Oh, the Combine. Oh, god damn it, the Combine again? What was it this time? We've got readings that the... Combine uh, trying to use the cell for something big, they've been modifying it. I mean, saying out 
looks like different things or like signals through the multiverse. I'm not quite certain what they're trying to achieve right now, but we need to uh, destroy probably the Citadel, destroy its uh, dark um, energy core, whatever it's the combine core thing. Alright, so I guess uh, we'll go destroy it and then stop the combine. Hopefully, deal with the combine once and for all, yeah. As long as nothing happens in Half Life again to make, I guess, a not aeration of the combine, it should be fine. And then again, Half Life has always been a more common world than ours, and I guess we know why now. It's, there was actually, you know, Black Mason Aperture here. Yeah, indeed. Sometimes forget about that. Yeah, true, true. So, yeah, well, let's definitely get there. Let me uh, get the gang and then we can uh, teleport. Yeah, but uh, my god. Gang, we're done with the. Uh, Diplomacy, uh, thanks for keeping an eye out, I guess, no threats. No threats, my god, seems all clear. This darkness really does not, uh, you know, ha have anything else. Like, darkness is really run out of resources. This, uh, Maybe things will be achievable then. As uh, time will tell, but uh, yeah, yeah, we got our mission, so uh, let, let's uh, go and do our uh, next mission, gang. Yeah, Michael, who will follow you. Battle, let's uh, now teleport. Alright, you all gonna be good? Yes, I think so. I think I guess we've got more to discuss, but now peace has been ensured, so it's really just minor things now, so you, you guys can go do what you need to do to help save us all. Yeah, indeed. Anyway, uh, Michael, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Basil. Alright. Teleporting us, uh, out of here. To the next location, goddamn. Alright, we're here. And... It seems like... They're activating the core. It seems unstable what uh, they've been doing to the core. They've definitely done something to go through the multiverse. Let me try and get a sense of it. I think... Oh god. They're trying to crack through the multiverse, I think, to get to us, to have their Final Revenge. So, if they succeed, that would be a crap. Michael, that means they will, goddamn, you know, succeed, you know, in doing what I fear in making a hole in the multiverse, yeah, Mikhail. All right, we've got to stop this. We've got to stop the core. Let's do this, gang. Goddamn. 
Alright, so let's get this done. Oh, there's one problem, Michael. There's no bridge. Oh, yeah. Let's see if the. Uh... Oh, no power thing. Oh, that was a bit close. Uh, seems like uh, if I'm going to transport you guys, uh, this is going to be the method. Oh god, they're sorry, half subs. This is not the most effective way to <laughs> transport the team, but go get you guys up there. Oh god. Let me know, oh, no. Okay. Oh lord, already losing members. Hopefully Jimmy's alright. Oh lord. Should have teleported to a more ideal uh, location. Uh, what about you Basil? I'm gonna stay here and make certain the core doesn't you do, doesn't uh, get used. The core um, well I guess uh, if need be I'll destroy the core myself. Blow up. But uh, yeah. You're in the other's head. Alright, Basil. You sure you don't want to be a chance for a lot closer to it? So, I'll, I'll be fine here. Should still be able to interact with my powers here. Alright, Basil. I'll go up. Alright, team, let's uh, head in. So. Be careful, oh god. Oh damn it, they took down Jimmy. Everyone in. Lord. Alright, let's uh, get this thing uh, moving. Everyone be careful. Okay, that's part of the process. Oh god, there's gonna be a few things. Oh god, they're disintegrating us. Five. Oh my god. Whoa, Rogers, be careful. Sorry, I didn't see you were firing there. Yeah, that's why you need to be aware. I guess I also didn't communicate, but... Yeah. Oh my god. No, Lord. The team's already falling apart. Actually, everyone's basically down for the count. Alright, so I need to get the... Oh god. Thing. Uh, let's uh, alter it, set back I guess the normal stabilizers, oh I have ultimate, 
probably gonna do real so This next place I need to go oh uh not there Oh yeah And this looks like a place I would need to go. To be granted, things aren't too stable here. Oh, now they're appeared, but they were just like flying weapons. I think the multiversal energies are messing with things. The combine are messing with things they should not mess with. I need to get more of the stabilizers back on. Otherwise, this place is going to be multiversal toast. Right. I think I need to probably uh, go to there. Yeah. I'm hearing gunfire. Where the hell from? Maybe I found Basil. I hope it's alright. As I can't easily protect him right now. I have my own mission to deal with. I can uh, get uh, some uh, energy pots and then uh, come on, stabilize all right. One more. Come 
Come on, the multiverse needs this. It's stabilized. For now. Bala. Alex? Uh, hi? Uh, you alright, Alex? I guess it makes sense that you're here, just... Yes. Maybe because she's dead, along with all the other Half-Life people. Yeah, it's like a false image. Well... Still solid, but still kind of false. And what the hell? Why are there so many rebels? I'm not Doctor Freeman. What the hell in the multiverse is? Going on. Well, you, it looks like they were deliberately trying to blow the room. They were trying to start it, but why? But destroying the Citadel is just a Ah, uh, Alex, you okay? It looks pretty far gone. Since we took out Brain's reactor, this is. I hope Dr. Clinton was right about this. Ah. Uh. I can't tell what the packet contains. Let's see if we can find a way through the control room. Alex? Ah. Uh, There's something else. It's Judith. Take a look. Ah, uh, what the hell is going on? Hey, everybody, follow Freeman. Lead on, Freeman. Ah. Uh, Alex, are you or right? Oh my. Uh these readings are off the chart. I hope it's not too late to re-engage the containment field. Good thing you know what you're doing. Well uh, elevator. What the hell is going on? I wish there was something else I could do to help. Uh I already I, I'll, I'll be back. I already went, was down here. Ah, uh, I'm trapped in here. Let me out of here, Alex. Let me the hell out of here. Alex! What the hell is going on? I'll just use my own powers, goddamn. I'm not gonna let you die. Okay, do we? What the hell is going on? Alex? What the hell is going on? What the Basil, do you have any idea in the world what's going on? Oh, now the things are here. 
Why weren't they here? Oh yeah. Could have used these bridges a lot earlier. What the heck? How is going on? I have no idea, Michael. Things are very bizarre. Yeah, you can say that again. What the hell is going on? Stabilize this. I went through here. I climbed up here, went through here, went through here. Got down. Went right through here. The core is stabilized. The combine ambushed me a lot of different things. Oh, yeah, and then not. Since this is active, you can uh, get across to here. I called for here. Uh, went for here. Alex met me here. And then what the hell is going on? Oh my This lift will take us to a train If we can hitch a ride, it should take us straight out of the city. I don't need it. I, I, I am doing something, but I think the multiverse has suffered a lot of damage. I'm not going that way. Good luck, Alec. So you're already dead, so... What does it matter? There's so many. There's so many of them. What the hell has happened? I'm getting back to Basil. What the hell has happened? I have no idea, Michael. We stabilized it, but the combine definitely did something. Right, that, that, there's definitely cracks, high amount of cracks here, multiversal energies, yeah I can tell, weird bizarre things are happening, oh lord, why does it only have to be our student now to solve things, I don't know, Michael, but this place is probably going to be destroyed, so we need to get out of here, so, yeah, it should uh, explode, just like it did in episode one, and then, uh, it should be home safe, hopefully. So, yeah. I mean, we can trigger explosion of 
the sand owl as we exit. As uh, nothing else really matters. The people here on your own Rather, maybe here is technically dead. Yeah, I saw Alex, but she's supposed to be dead. I mean, Gordon's definitely dead, so. Yeah, and everyone thought it was Gordon for some reason. I don't know. It was weird, but. Not let's tell Plough here, Basil. Hopefully, the others should come along with us. I Honestly, don't know. But yeah, let's uh, tell Plow if you. God damn. Uh, where am I? Uh, Basil? I got Basil. Uh, oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay, this thing is. Oh god. <laughs> this thing is falling apart. Oh god. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Basil. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, Lord, I'm gonna... Oh, God. No, 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 no. I won't get you out, Basil. Oh, I can't get you out the window. Um... Alex, you're supposed to be dead. Yeah, help, help us out here. I'm guessing the set I'll blow up. Oh god. I'm gonna try and keep you above water. You're normal now. Oh, we should keep moving. I'm sure the combine haven't forgotten. I'm pretty certain the past assimilations had trouble Maybe they're still around. doing this part, well, but I guess uh It'd be nice to have some extra At least this is a good sign that things have stabilized. Even if you're not taking on what I'm saying right now. <sighs> yeah, she seems like an empty shell. Like, there's half a soul there, but not the full soul. Yeah, Basil. Anyway. Hey, look! The Citadel, it's destroyed. It's blown up. Oh, oh boy. You're right, Basil. Oh. Oh, you just missed a hell of a crash. <laughs> what is that? A poor storm, Basil. Like the first day's all over again. I hope we don't get many more. God, this is crazy, Michael. Yeah, where are the others? Oh no, things are. I think things have stabilized, given the fact that, well, uh, there's, you know, things are going on track, I guess, somewhat. But it's like we time skipped with that teleport, that there's still interference multiversally 
Yeah. That portal storm, I think it has multiversal energy. Yeah, probably. What do you reckon we do? I gotta close it. Just like uh, Half Life 2, Episode 2. Otherwise, otherwise, I think, you know, I'll rampage on. Yeah, I think you're right. Basil. Oh, but I'm. Um. Uh, are you alright? Basil, what do you need? What do you need? Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. Just li lie me down, please. Alright, I'll lie you down. I, I need a rest. Somewhere. Alright, let me rest you here. I'm gonna have to catch up, I think, later. You go on the head. Clear away to, you know, white forest and do everything. You know, get things on track. Great, so I'm going through a whole fast life episode two. Oh maybe you'll feel like no time's passed once you get to the end. That's true. I've done this before, I can do it again, so Galaka, Basil. Once you cap caught up, uh, yeah. I'll go do this, goddamn. I hadn't noticed this before. Nice what? Anyway, let's go. So, Michael went through the stuff of episode two. All up to the launch sequence to stop the poor storm. And the multiversal energy emanating from it. So let's skip forward to when he's there launching it. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, go get things done. device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. No chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. <laughs> Let's go to the control room. I've done this before, Alex. Trust me, I can get it done again. Well, here we are again. <laughs> here we are again is the most fitting thing you could say right now, Alex. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? I don't need a helicopter, I just need a, to close this storm and then I can help her out of here. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes, well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of huh? mutual admiration society until after we have launched our rocket. Yes, let's ro lo launch the rocket. <laughs> I almost said launch the rocket. No objection from me. All yours, Gordon. All right. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 
shot. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yes. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. Yeah, we might be kinda close. This rocket needs to head in. Let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a This is more about more than just about half life. This is for sake of a multiverse, even though none of you can hear why I'm truly saying. <laughs> oh. Yeah, again, not going, but I've said that a million times before. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it. I destroyed it. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Right I destroyed Alex. the Varyas. <laughs> Don't worry about Alex, Eli. For all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Don't worry, I destroyed that ship a long time ago. Well, actually, part of it lives on in the Aurora Borealis, a combination of the Borealis and uh, Ghost Ship, the Aurora. Oh, it's closing! Yes! The multiversal energy has dissipated, oh, thank God. I bet they aren't too happy. The combine will certainly be <laughs> like very light pits. <laughs> the combine can't have their final revenge if they're, you know, her exit plan is gone. Well, but I've already seen what happens here. I I know what happens. Uh, should I see it? I mean, I know what happens. I know what goddamn happens. Oh lord. Uh. Anyway, I guess I have to move forward. Hey, Michael. Oh. Basil, you put back up. Yeah, you're right. Now, yeah, I'm all right. So I, I think the I guess sort of damage, whatever that was dealt to me here. Yeah, look, it's gone. It's completely vanished. The poor storm. The multiversal energy. We, we did it, like, we managed to, you know, stop it. You, you did it, my car. <laughs> I, I fell behind, you know, still I, I, I think it's a team effort when we find uh, the rest of the team. It means that, uh, you know, the, the cracks uh, can't be uh, fully damaged. There was definitely more cracks probably added thanks to the Combine, but the Combine uh, stuff has been uh, stopped, so yeah. I guess... Uh, Let's uh, get back to the foundation.
What do you think is going to happen to Half-Life? You know, well, now that... Well, the, the story is kind of continuing, but... It's like... The one missing piece is gone, like... Do you think this will become its own iteration? Basil? Maybe. And maybe uh, without Gordon, it will probably die. Yeah. Unless Gordon's still in stasis. Because Oh, because, you know, G-Man was attacking me, so he wasn't free. Oh, my God. Yeah. But how would he be free? Oh, of course. I, I have an idea. I might be able to help Half-Life, you know, one last time. But I don't think I'm going to get involved like I did last time. It only led to everyone dying. It's best to let Half-Life go back on its intended course. And I know how. Because uh, Half-Life Alex, the... Um, uh, Gordon is sort of released back here, this place after Eli dies, but then comes back to life. Uh, so, uh, Gordon should show back up. But there's no G-Man. That's another critical piece. Isn't he technically dead? I swear, no, I saw G-Man because he, he interrupted me like I was doing the Vortessence thing like he uh, usually does with Alex. I think he's a new G-Man entirely. One that's unfamiliar with what's going on. Like, and from my scans, uh, he, he shouldn't be a problem. And I don't think he would align with darkness, honestly, like the other. So, yeah, it means that things should go back on track. All I need to do is give it one last night. So, uh, Basil, uh, but... You know, you can tell for I'm all just be a, a moment. And yeah. Alright. Give it a nudge, I guess. Uh, sort of like the G-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'll be back. Uh, so, uh, you, you go ahead, Basil. You probably don't huh. want to see what happens here. Yeah, probably not. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead. Yeah. Goodbye and good luck, Basil. Goodbye, uh, Michael. Alright. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. Sorry for uh, making you too light. Don't worry, Gordon will be back soon. I'm Dad. sure Gordon will be uh, helping save you, Dad. Alex, soon enough from G-Man's grips. Things go back to how they're supposed to be. Don't worry. I destroyed it. Well, mostly. 
But, yeah, again, I destroyed it more than one time, and that's why. When I saw the Borealis again, I didn't destroy it and combined it with ghosts. Yeah. I trust, you know, ghosts, and nothing bad has happened with uh, ghosts yeah, so far. Don't worry, he'll be alive. But yes, you don't know that yet. Yes, that's not known yet. Anyway, go and shoot awake here soon enough. Now to uh, teleport uh, back home. God damn. <laughs> Lord, but yeah, teleporting back. God damn. Alright, we're back. Well, I'm back after Basil. I only just got back. Oh, you must have had a slow teleport then. <laughs> I guess thing since we came from a uh, half light for as uh, uh, now we say a some effects still left from a half life, but thank God uh, everyone's all right. It's yeah, we're all alright. Uh, my god. Oh, thank god. Oh, Lord. But no mission down for cults here. Any more missions? Uh, let me see what last thing ran down. Oh! <laughs> the fourth and final thing ran down is uh, hang out with you guys. I didn't even. Realize I include in the same words, but the hangouts, which I guess will be next time, but yeah, chill hangout now that, uh, you know, you guys aren't busy and you just cleared out, uh, you know, our leftovers, so, um, we'll be less uh, busy as a result, meaning next time we should have free time to spare to, you know, hang out. Yeah, indeed. What do you think the Combine would do, though, given they're stranded in Half-Life and they are seemingly the only ones that actually remember, you know, what happened, like, what we did. Yes, uh, the Combine may try again, but you've destroyed the Borealis multiple times. Do you think they would have a version of the Borealis there? Let me scan real quick. I probably should have done it while we were there, but let me scan. Nope, no. Borealis, but that's weird because, you know, going through it, I saw the, the kind of thing where it pulls up, like, the Borealis and, like, incredible and weird. I don't detect it unless it's offline. Not. Let me do a double scan just to be certain. Yeah. Okay. On the double scan, the Borealis is there, but 
doesn't have the same technology as it did before. No multiversal travel, just insane poor skills, but still can cause damage, which uh, may transfer into multiversal damage. Uh, hopefully Gorham will destroy it as he dies. Yeah, I suspect so. If uh, my calculations with my powers are correct, he should destroy a Borealis as he's supposed to and there should be no problems. The Combine will have to forget about uh, you, Mike, and focus on Freeman. Oh, yes, uh, forget about Freeman. <laughs> Very clever, because they were calling me Freeman, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Yes, you know your half-life. Which is good, I guess, uh, but yeah. Yeah, the combine will have to focus on Freeman. Uh, it's fine, I guess. No problems there. But the combine aren't the only ones that could potentially break it, break a hole through. The Combine are just the probably first of May that we may eventually have to prevent from breaking the hole. Well, it's not a hole yet, but making the cracks a hole. So, yeah. Indeed, Michael, will definitely have to be a Careful, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess uh, hanging out will be next time, and yeah, hopefully that's dealt with. Uh, let's check on everyone else. Mikhail, you all good? Yep, should be good. And, uh, yeah. Oh. One thing's for certain is if the hole does get made, I feel like it's going to be the angels that come through first. Yeah, Foxy will definitely need a pair in that case. I will, Michael, I will. And uh, Ina definitely help. I, I will. I guess. Uh, any information's handy, Mikhail. Tell me everything you know. I, I will do so, Foxy. Yeah, you two work to get on things and get it done. I mean, uh, you all good? Yeah, I, I think so, Michael. Roger's everything good? I, I think so, Michael. I think, uh, I'm all good. That's good to hear. Boop, boop, uh, you all good? Boop, boop, uh, believes, uh, they're good, so boop, boop should be a-okay. All right. Rebecca, Anything from here? I don't think so, Michael. I think uh, Half Life should take its course again. Anyway, you know, you know, Half Life continues to live on despite how long it's been from its beginning. And, yeah, I don't know, uh, it should be fine, 
hopefully Michael. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, anything from you? No, not at the moment, Michael. Alright. Well, I guess, uh, then, uh, this will be, as uh, the end of the day. Time to finally, you know, head home, relax, you know. All that, you know, it's been a long day, so. Yeah. And, yeah. I'll definitely have more work to do, prevent things, so yeah. But, and it's, uh, as long as nothing comes up for next time, which, guessing from my powers, nothing probably should. Yeah. So, hopefully, nothing happens, but yeah. So we'll get to relax and then worry about things, but yeah. Are you sure, you know, having a break at this time is, you know, a wise idea? But when the aftermath of stuff now, I think it'll take a while for Jay and our enemies to be ready. So, unless we detect anything else and, you know, be thorough until then, uh, you know, we still got to work until then, you know, don't slack off until it's, you know, the day we, you know, have it scheduled, uh, that's the day where we get to relax, be, be vigilant as always. So yeah, it's not like I want to leave anything to chance, you know, Mikhail. Yeah, and you, Michael, just, well, if the enemy does it while we're, you know, having a relaxing moment. That's true, but if uh, we detect anything whilst, uh, you know, trying not to relax, then we'll immediately deal with it. You know, that's what we always do. Yeah, I guess so, Michael, just, I don't know, I just want to be precautious and you know, be ready. Fair enough, Mikhail, fair enough. I definitely want to do the same, but I think the gang definitely deserves a day after everything to relax, so that'll be the chance. Yeah, Michael. Just, uh, Hopefully it's not approaching at the wrong time, yeah. But uh, either way, uh, I, I think it's time to rest, so time to tell Plow to rest after this uh, long day, so yeah. Time to teleport. God damn.